up morning guys welcome to today's video we've already done chores i'm i'm hot today the last couple of days i've been freezing cold today i'm hot you're probably wondering where the heck are you some of you guys probably already know we are in sophie's messy room okay just leave it <laughs> don't walk uh anyway her plant is doing okay you should water that thing today she never makes her bed i always make my bed okay, it's the comfiest bed ever so i want it to stay the same when i go into bed that is weird to me comment below if you're like me and you can't go to sleep unless your bed is made i don't know my parents weren't so super strict and they didn't make me make my bed but i used to clean my room and make my bed all the time i never could go to bed with a dirty bed a messy bed this does not fit me very well but i'm thinking uh, because it's thin yeah so anyway, Sophie and I are in her room this morning because we are, she is clean at her closet. I don't like this on me. It like goes up and it's I love that t-shirt. Do you guys remember when the brand gave us this shirt, gave me this shirt? It says jumper. And then Sophie wore it the year that Finn was a jumper. This is going in your closet. Okay. <laughs> Old lady. Old lady, but it worked for when we needed it. Sophie's going to get some Western clothes this summer. So that hoodie, I think, is way too short. Do you think? Let me decide on my own. Yeah, I will let you decide on your own. But let's anyways. Let's put a movie on. All right, let's put a movie on. We are going to uh, clean. Hey, okay, you're watching Ginny and Georgia with me? Um, I love Ginny and Georgia. I know. I've already watched it like five times. Right? I only can watch a TV show one time. See, this is, these are the things that are about Sophie, that are like Sophie, that oh, are yeah, like Sam. Thing. Comment below if you're like me and you can only watch a show one time. And it's very rare that I can watch something more than once but i do love me some Ginny and georgia so we're gonna watch that clean out our closet and then get to homeschooling today i have to take my horse out somewhere and you know how i know i let her tell me when i went outside today she saw she spied me over the fence and she let out a big whinny and that's how i know that she wants me to do something with her it's so odd every like three or four days she will notice me follow me be really persistent and tell me that she needs my attention so that is my goal for today we're headed to go outside and work with the horses or do some stuff with the horses um but i wanted to show you i'm making some egg salad before we go we're going to eat lunch and look and i like to have hard-boiled eggs left over because i like to have hard-boiled eggs for breakfast sometimes so if i'm going to make egg salad i always make a bunch of eggs but i wanted to show you like it doesn't look as pretty in the camera. You can't tell, but these are really, really dark. These three are really, really dark. And then there's this cream one. And when I look in there, it just looks so beautiful and it just makes me happy. Being a farmer, honestly, it makes me so happy. Can't wait to have goat's milk. It is so super exciting to me. And I can't wait to add more animals to our farm. Um, I'm planning it out. I'm gonna make a video about all the things that we're gonna change in the spring about this farm and what we're gonna add. But also, Gabby got a letter home from school yesterday and it said that she needs vaccinations. As far as I know, she's completely up to date with vaccinations, but my kids haven't been in school in a really long time. So I was like, what the heck? Called our doctor and apparently they get vaccinations at 14 to 16 years old now. And when my boys went to school, that was never the issue. Like they never had vaccines past grade eight, I think. Did you know that you have to get vaccines at 14 to 16 years old? Yeah, it's new. So uh, today marks the first on the day by day farm. <laughs> I had to cancel lessons. I had to stop lessons for tonight because Gabby has homework. <laughs> I mean, it's really cold, especially at night. And so that was part of my reason. But she has, it's the end of the semester and she has um, two reports that she has to, what's it called? Like. What's it called when you stand in front of the class and you and you talk? What? She has two presentations. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. Um, that she two presentations that she has to do tomorrow. So she has to memorize all the stuff that she has prepared, and then she has a test tomorrow too. Okay. So she has a test today. Yeah, that's today. Oh. <laughs> I'm confused. But anyways, she has a lot of homework to do, a ton of stuff that she has to do. It's the end of the year. She's like getting all the end of the year stuff done before exams and stop and it's the beginning of the new year. Yeah, it's the end of the school year and that's okay. So anyway, I canceled lessons. I stopped lessons for the first time ever. 
and Brandon understood. That's the thing, when lessons get canceled, I never cancel them because I look forward to them so much. But when I canceled them, he said, it's okay, everybody's canceling because of the weather. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I just feel like I miss my horse and this brush. Though. I need to, but when I come in this barn, it stresses me out. I'm going to show you why it stresses me out. I'm a floor girl and seeing like hay on the areas where we walk stresses me out. So now I feel like I have to sweep before I can. You know what stresses me out? Me. <laughs> There's dirt in my eye. There's dirt in your eye? Yes. Oh man. Oh. I don't even think I'm gonna need it. She wants to come to me. It's been a while and I wanted to talk to you guys about Penny. Penny? Even though it's mostly been about the goats lately. Hi, sweet girl. Yeah. Come here, Pen. Let's see if she comes. I want you guys to see what's happening right now. Storm is at the feeder with all the horses and Penny's on her own. And that's what I wanted to tell you guys about. Don't give her carrots. I wanted to give her. I know it seems like all I do is goats. But that's just what I've been videoing. I also am with my horse and we're out here with the horses often. Come on, Target. She's like, no, I'm not coming there. It's so cold. You come to me. Good girl. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Target. Target. Good girl. Good girl. Come on in. Come on. I swear it's colder in the barn. Come on. Good girl. My baby is such a good girl. Let's put your halter on. Let's tell them what your problem is. All right? This has been a problem forever since I've had her. It's just kind of reaching a peak at the moment. I'm sorry, Penny. That's not where you're supposed to have your leader attached. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I did it wrong. I know she was calling out to me today. Whenever Penny calls out for me, it always means that she's missing me and that she just wants to do something. She just wants to be doing something. I don't feel comfortable taking off her blanket tonight, today though, because it is freezing. And when you take off your blanket, Penny, I'm here. and you're used to being nice and warm in your blanket, and then you suddenly take it off, it makes you cold. I do like to assess her though, make sure like her weight is up and stuff. I'm gonna tell you guys, what the problem is with Miss Penny Pickle. <gasps> Allie! What in the world? Oh, look at those frozen bananas. How did they get there? So when I bought Penny, her old owner said she is a very standoffish horse and she doesn't like other horses. And when I tried to understand, she said, you'll see. And that's exactly what we have found. She is a very standoffish horse and she doesn't like, she loves her hair brushed loves it anyways um i'm trying to do this with one hand here you guys have seen her in the field like in the summer she's so happy in the summer and she's always with the other horses but far from them so all the other horses will be down at the end of the hill and penny will be at the top of the hill or midway up the hill and that's what she likes Obviously it's not a big deal. That is not a big deal. And I understood what she meant as soon as we brought her home. She's not like, she has anxiety. That's what I think. She doesn't like being around the other horses. I'm okay with that. And she's okay with that. Look how long her hair is getting. Where the issue is becoming a problem. Oh, I'm not even gonna be able to do her tail. How the issue is becoming a problem right now is that we have one feeder and it's really close to all the other horses. And I keep on blaming poor Stormy Boy, saying like she hates him and it's causing problems with everybody. But the truth is, I've been really watching her the last two weeks, like really watching, watching out my bedroom window and watching and just standing in the field and watching them. And I actually thank God for Storm. Like Storm actually is the hero in this story. He's the hero in this story. Um, so essentially, Penny goes out there in the morning and she starts eating. And if anybody else comes to the round bale, she gets mad and she pushes them all off. 
and she doesn't like them. She doesn't like to be in close proximity. She doesn't like to eat around the around Bale with the other horses. And a big problem is, is that Storm is an active horse <laughs> and he pushes her buttons a little, like I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Push her buttons a little. So it makes it worse. So she hates Storm. Do you guys remember when I said like, watch what, where Penny is right now? So that's what happens. Storm comes, when Penny pushes all the horses off the hay, Storm comes and says, no, you, they can eat. And he stands there and all the other horses come back to the hay and he's fair and just and kind to them. And he lets them eat. Penny gets into, uh, Penny gets upset if the other horses are eating with her. So she goes and she stands alone. So, I mean, I know her dynamics always means that somebody's being pushed off the hay and it's not necessarily that big of a deal, but to me it is because I don't want anybody to be unhappy in our herd. So, okay, I was trying to get Willow to do, like, have a break over with her, but she hates that. She would rather be doing stuff. She loves to do stuff. Look at her go. She is a 20 year old little mini, almost 21, and she's just looking amazing. But, anyways, my point is that ideally, wait, I'm gonna pick your feet. You want me to pick your feet? She's like, no, just give me what's in your pocket. So ideally, Penny could be away from the other horses and eat her hay and still be happy. Our setup doesn't really make that easy for us. Sam has been letting the horses out each morning and making piles of hay in other areas. So he feeds the, the ponies in this arena area, this area where Sophie's working. He feeds them in there because he knows that Penny's gonna go out there and be upset and push them off the hay. Ideally, we'd have like, Ideally, we'd have enough space for two round bales. So until we get to summer where they can kind of separate and go off into their own areas, that's what we're dealing with. She's unhappy. She makes everybody else unhappy. And Storm comes to the rescue and he saves their ponies. Like he actually is just, Penny, why you gotta be so difficult? When we got her, she had so much anxiety. Do you guys remember I told you? She, if any horse came running up behind her, remember it's the same kind of a problem. It's just from the same issue. If another horse came running up behind her and I was riding her, she would freak out and run off. She had so much anxiety. She has worked through that. She is good on the trail. She's good everywhere. She doesn't care about horses running up behind her. She's like really good with all that kind of stuff. She's like amazing. She, she's so different than when I first bought her. We have so many videos of <laughs> what she was like when I first bought her. She's so, so much better. This is like the one thing that kind of has, has stuck. And even Sam says she is a introvert. She's a loner. She doesn't like being with the other horses. So ideally yes. I could take Storm and put him with another horse, which is our goal. I don't know, maybe I should work on that right now. Ideally, that is our plan. That's like what I need to do because she's okay with the girls on her own with them as long as there's enough room. We could leave this place, stay in bed for days. You'd be my Yoko and I'd be your John. You'd show your secret tattoo. This horse just goes on her own. She's like, oh, I know what you want. Let's just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl, yes. Teaching her to pick up camera when I ask. Yeah. She's like, I'm going again. I'm all about using your words. But you are such a cute pony. Penny's like, but I wasn't done. <laughs> it's okay.
Good girl, yes. This pony, honestly, is a genius pony. She's just so good. She would probably grab her jumping. She loves jumping. Yeah, she does love jumping. The saddest thing about this pony is her haircut. <laughs> no, she doesn't short hair. She actually does look really good with short hair. But it's just the tail that makes me. Look, look how good she is. She just goes. Did you say canter? Yes, I think. I didn't hear it. I, I think I said it. Where's he going, Tony? I always make her chew and swallow before she goes again. But she, yeah. This horse will do anything for a treat. I know. I didn't even move. This makes me just miss being with horse, like doing the horse stuff. Let's see if she remembers her tricks. Yeah, this horse is so good. She just smiled too. Penny's using this water bucket right now. Yeah. This is the year of the electric water buckets. This is the worst part about ponies. Yeah, putting on their blankets. She likes this blanket though. It definitely keeps her warm. And all the people who said, all the people who said, oh, that blanket is gonna be dirty before any length of time. She rolls a lot. She rolls a lot, it like repels dirt. She has a little tiny bit on that one corner and then the rest of it's still clean. No, this side is clean too. It's, it looks really good. I told you guys in last night's video or in yesterday's video that some people that we know they were expecting babies, but they weren't expecting them. They didn't know that their goat was in labor, basically. They were watching for signs, and their goat didn't really show them any signs. Can and I they ended up giving birth in the middle of the night. Yeah, and he went out in the morning, and his doe had had two babies, and they froze to death. And they had a nice little barn. They have a nice barn, warm, a nice warm barn. Lots of goats in one area so that they can like keep warm and their babies froze to death. I see so much stuff online where people are like, that would not happen, but it's definitely a real possibility. And that's why I'm like so careful with our does and watching them. I've been watching them on the camera system all morning. Hi, Leo. Hi, buddy. You're such a cutie. Hi, Lucy. Lucy's like, I'm coming, wait for me. Anybody in labor? Look pregnant. <laughs> you look pregnant. This guy looks pregnant. Ow. Ow. Blossom. You're heavy. You're looking bigger. Let's check udders. Hi. Our camera is literally fogging up or freezing <laughs> over, I guess is what it's doing. I'm still worried about this goat. Look at how, how humped up her back looks. Up too. <laughs> Be nice. It's okay. It's okay. So this is the water heater that I wanted to show you guys. Can you guys see it? It's like this and the water in there is warm. Isn't that amazing? And it's clear. You can't really see. But it's clear and it's warm. I love it. Like it's like bath water. Okay, mom, I need help. <laughs> Okay, you go. All right, come on in. All right, well, everything looks fine. Hopefully. I need to be like one of those people that's like, oh, uh, you're all fine. Instead, I just feel so much in my heart for them. Like, I feel so bad for that baby. I know, me too. Let me come out. There's a boy coming beside me. Well, quick, run. I don't think I can reach it. You're taller. Jump. I can't, Sylvia, I'm not even close. That's why you need a tall husband. And don't get me wrong, there are times when she does go and eat with the other horses and behave. <laughs> but sometimes she's emotional. She's definitely an emotional horse. Don't you know that you're beautiful?